How's it going everyone, welcome back and today we got these problems on our iPhone. It says this phone number cannot be used by iMessages and FaceTime. If you ever encounter this error on your iPhone, you can't even use your phone number to activate your FaceTime or phone number, I mean FaceTime or iMessages, then here is how you can solve it. So let's go. To solve the problems, the first work that you guys really really want to take a look at is the settings. Just go to the settings here, tap Apple ID and tap sign in and security here. So first, you have to take a look at the number. You can see this number on my iPhone. It says unavailable for iMessages and FaceTime. That means I cannot use this specific phone number to activate my FaceTime or my iMessages. So what do I do? I got to select that number and I got to remove that number from my account. That's the first thing I got to do. And I can re-add the number later. Like once I just uh, remove that phone number, I got to come right here and add that phone number all over again to check whether it works or not. Let's say you change your phone number, but still it's not helpful. It's not working out. The next thing that you have to do, you can do one thing. You can simply lock out your Apple ID and lock back your Apple. Just lock out your Apple ID and lock it back on again and see if that even help you out or not. So after following all of that, if you still see, well, it's not really helping you out and you still have problems, then the next work that you gotta do, just go ahead and open up your settings here. And now you have to scroll down, tap general, tap iPhone storage, and you have to find out that uh, FaceTime here. So tap FaceTime, tap upload app, tap upload app again, and tap reinstall app. Now this might take some time, but don't worry. Once this, once the resulting process is done, get out of here and restart your iPhone and check out your problems, whether it's solved or not. Now, if you still have problems and it keeps giving you the phone number, then I would highly recommend you guys just try use a different phone number in order to activate that phone number with your FaceTime or iMessages on iPhone. So after that, hopefully this problem will be solved and you'll be able to use your FaceTime and iMessages all over again. And still, if you guys have been requested to ask, please let me know in the comment section. See you guys around.